This is lit code question number 636, discursive time of function. This is medium question. Let's get into it. On a single thread CPU, we execute some function. Each function has a unique ID between 0 plus and minus 1. We store a look in the timestamp order that describes when a function is entered or exit. Each log is string with this format, function ID, and colon, uh, and start or end, and timestamp. For example, 0 colon start colon 3 min is, uh, this is function ID, and then this one is action, start or end, and then timestamp is 3. And 1 and 2 mean is uh, function ID is 1 and action is end and then timestamp is 2. Okay, a function is cross time is the number of unit of time spent in this function. Note that this does not include any discursive call to the child function. The sphere is single thread which means that only one function is being executed at a given time unit. Return the discursive time of each function sorted by their function ID. Okay, let's check with example 1. N is 2, means there are two functions. And log is 0, start 0. And then uh, 0 function uh, start the 0 second and then one function start 2 second and then when the one function start uh, a 0 function automatically uh, waiting because this is single thread so and then next one thread finish the 5 so uh, learning, learning time is 5 minus 2 plus 1 because the 5 is also in cloud. So this is 4. And then after finish it, uh, function 0 is the restart. So this one finished 6. So uh, function 0 learning time is total is 7 minus 4. So it is 3. Okay, we're gonna. First, we're gonna uh, uh, make the reading function, log function, and then uh, I'm gonna use the step because we needed to calculate from the last. So first step, I will store the first function, and then next the put, and then uh, when you calculate, it uh, start from the end. Backward. Okay, let's implement it. First, I will declare stack. I will use array, and then and alpha alpha this zero and n. The reason is why I did, uh, make alpha array the initial with n zero because we needed to direct access with id. Okay, now I make the function to read the log. Log in logs and log is I will split. And then this delimiter del is colon. And then, okay, let's check. Zero is function ID. So ID is log zero. And this is string, so I will change string to integer. And then second is action. Action is, I will check it later. And then third is timestamp. Time int log 2. And then if log 1 is start, I will put it to stack. ID and time. Otherwise, I will pop uh, from the stack 
and then name current idn current time and then i will check the learning learning time learning time learning time is uh -huh. the finish time is time minus current time n plus one yes and then i will put add them to the low output output id is which one id or current id yes current id current id plus learning time cpu time okay cpu time was good And then we also uh, calculate the uh, the previous previous uh, ID. So it now waiting at the stack. So if length stack is not zero, that means uh, some function is uh, not left. So at that time I will do output stack and uh, I will pick pick the stack and get ID so deduct CPU time and I will return output. Okay, good. Submit. Okay, let's check complexity. Uh, okay, there are only one iteration, so time complexity is linear, and then we will stack. So space complexity also linear space. Thank you.